Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Thought I'd give you a quick tour of my data and backup hub because data and storage and backup is something I'm really interested in. Um, this is where I back up and store all my YouTube videos. So what we have here is um, this Ethernet cable comes off um, a load balancing router. So we actually have redundant internet uh, supply into the NAS itself. This is a pretty small urban apartment, so naturally, you know, it'd be nice to have this somewhere more, uh, a bit more accessible and better space. But uh, for the moment, this is where we have space for it. This is the Synology DS920 Plus NAS, which Synology sent me um, a few years ago, two years ago. I think I was the first person in Israel to actually get my hands on this because it came straight from the manufacturer. Uh, and I did some interesting reviews on it. So this is the NAS, it's a four bay NAS. And uh, the one improvement I need to make is to put this NAS onto a UPS. Um, I've tried to keep everything labeled. This label is just a little joke, my data management center. But I try to keep you know labels on every plug so I kind of know what's doing what. And uh, I try my best with cable management with these little uh, Velcro pulls you can see here on the back of the uh, back of the Ethernet switch. This is the Ethernet switch that's coming off the router. So the other thing I have in my data management hub is USB Type 3 cable coming into the front of the NAS and that leads around the back and off to this HDD enclosure, which you can see I've labeled uh, archival. So I've mentioned on my YouTube channel that my current um, approach for data backup for these YouTube videos is that I put the important stuff up to the cloud. And then a lot of the stock and B-roll and the raw takes I just put into cold storage. So that's why I have this HDD enclosure permanently connected to the NES itself. And I just spin this up periodically. I don't leave it running all the time. Whatever disk I'm writing, when I need to power it up, uh, I think that's on now, should be blinking. There we go. I like HDDs because they're physical media and you can actually, uh, you can see what's going on here. So that's just, uh, that's just powered on. And what I do, so I'm currently burning or doing cold storage onto a terabyte HDD bit by bit. So once a week, I'll spin it up and I'll dump about, you know, 10 or 20 gigs of video data from the NAS onto this. And that will fill up over about probably six months. When I'm finished with it, I'll take out the finished hard drive and I'll put it into a case and store it. So you can see I've already filled up two of these hard drives. So we're on a video backup three already. And I have a spreadsheet where I try to make some notes about what's going on each drive and what dates approximately it contained. Um, and you know, it obviously just takes about two minutes to flip out hard drive in an enclosure. What else do I do? Oh yeah, the final thing I wanted to show, I have as well, a hard drive cloner so this is a cool piece of gear well cool for people interested in this kind of stuff hdd clone hard drives this will take a 3.5 or a 2.5 inch form factor 3.5 hdd 2.5 hdd source target i like it everything's very clearly labeled and the beauty of this is that i can actually work you can see on the inside it's got the uh it's got everything you need for the to read and this is actually capable of offline replication so let's say i finish i fill up a hard drive and i want to uh, duplicate that quickly to another one to keep that off site i can just put it in clone mode or pc mode pc mode i can use it as an enclosure uh clone mode is the one here for working totally offline and then i just press start and it'll write from source onto target so you clearly don't want to get this uh get them mixed up, put your source here, and that's something I also do for offsite, keeping a uh, copy of these in a friend's house. So that's pretty much uh, the data management hub at the moment. Um, I'm always working on my new approaches for archival, waiting on my first M-Disc burner and M-Disc spindle, and that's gonna be fun as well. So this is just my sort of attempt to be as assiduous as I can in keeping an archive backup of all my uh, video producing efforts I'm doing currently.